the club, work, and then having a family, trying to be a full-time competitive athlete as well, it was never going to happen. I couldn't do all of those things. 2007, we moved to Dubai. Uh, opportunities here are, are, are fantastic. The outdoor lifestyle, the weather, being here for 15 years now, like really great friendships and, and people that we've we've met. A lot of that through triathlon. It's a big community, but it's small. Everyone kind of knows each other. Currently deputy head at uh, Jebel Ali School. I was one of the founding sort of members of staff in the secondary school. The main responsibilities are sort of the care and well-being of all the secondary students. I was always a swimmer, I was like one of those kids that was swimming 12, 15 hours a week. Early mornings, uh, late evenings, that sort of idea of routine and commitment to a sport helps now. I think I was about 15, I stopped that and moved to water polo. I ended up playing like National League and Men's League in the UK and got to some GB trials. Never really did triathlon. When I was 17, my friend messaged me one day, a weekend and was like, do you want to do a triathlon? And I was like, okay. It was Langport Triathlon in the southwest of the UK. So the swimming bit helped, cycling my bike to school every day, but nothing serious. I won the under 18 age group. So I wish at that point someone had said, why don't you do some triathlon? If someone had come over maybe after the race, like from a club or something like that, saying, look, you know, have you thought about doing this anymore? A bit like what I found here when I first met Flanners, come and get involved and I'll, I'll teach you. It must have been about 2012 something. I'd had shoulder surgery and then I and I was coming out of that and was a bit like, I've got to do something here. And I saw an advert for, it just, it just said train like a pro. I thought that sounds really interesting. I toyed with the idea of getting a bike and trying triathlon. The guy that was head of endurance at the time was a guy called Neil Flanagan. And I said, look, this is what I've done. Really interested. I just knew nothing. Did one lap of the nine kilometer loop in something like 32K an hour. I was like, that's all right. Vlad is just laughing at me. I was like, oh. That was my like first intro to like getting into triathlon. Then I sort of was like more seriously when I started to get into a bit more, I said to Neil, I was like, what do I do if I want to represent GB? Well, you're going to need to be able to do this, this and this. So set some sort of targets and then and that was it. That was the goal then. About 2016-ish, from the UK qualifiers, you have to go back to the UK. And I flew back in, in May, and I did Eton sprints, Eton Dorney sprints. You have to finish in the top four in your age groups, and you would get an automatic qualification spot for the World Championships. And that year, it was in Mexico. So I'd got that, went back to the UK, finished second at Eton, absolutely buzzing. My parents came to watch and stuff and we went all the way to Cozumel. So in my head I built it up that I was going to go and get a podium. I wasn't fit enough for that so I came 10th and I was the second fastest Brit, first ever championships. There must have been about 80 odd people in the race. I was gutted actually. So the following year I went to Holland and I went, I went back. I had a really good friend from Dubai, Kevin Bradford, came over with me. Um, Tori came, and it was, yeah, it was awesome. Cool. And then to have all like family come and watch and friends. I remember I come up, I, I went in the water and I came out of the swim, and I was really far ahead of everybody. And I was like, you know, that doubt, that self doubt, running through transition to the bike. I was like, have I gone the wrong way? And I thought I'd just completely messed it up. So I was just running. I was like, well, I just got to keep going. So I got on the bike. Um, by the time I got on the bike and came out, another British guy had caught me up, a guy called Craig. So we got away and it was quite a technical bike course. Got onto the run. He ran away. It was way too fast for me. So I got a silver medal. I remember crossing the line. I saw my dad, I saw my mom. And I just cried. So I was working in primary school at the time and one of the parents said, oh, you know, why don't you do some, do some kids triathlon? Because obviously I'm a PE teacher, doing triathlon, like why, why not put it together? So I started coaching this young lad called Max. I know we'd go down to Jumeirah Beach, do a bit of swimming in the sea. And all of a sudden we had like this little group of us, five or six of us, and that just got huge. I ended up setting up my tri-club 
which was through uh, my sports academy. Yeah, we could have 50 kids down there easily, just all like training in different groups and pushing each other. Like we did two, uh, two triathlon camps. We went to Thailand twice with a load of kids, then going off to events on the weekends and getting ready at Mamza or uh, the Roy Nasser events and things like that. It was amazing. But yeah, it was very much like family community. It's full-time teacher, running a club, both of us having full-time jobs and then having Olivia, like which, which hat do you want to wear? Athlete, dad, club, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot for us as a family, but Tori was always amazing. She never was like saying like, we can't do all this or no to any of it. Always backed, backed me, which is amazing. Very lucky. I'm quite competitive, obviously, um, but seeing other people that you know I used to compete against, just getting better and better and training and training, and so I just need that for myself, for my own well-being, for, like for my own health. Doing that plus careers, plus Olivia. Timing-wise, we just said, look, the club, we've got to stop the club. We cut, like it's a lot of stress. That was it was a no-brainer. Like, and even when I communicated the fact that we were going to be stopping. You know, it, it's family, family first. So that moment of, you know, telling them. Actually, I couldn't speak. I got really upset. Really, really, really hard decision. Zephy, Mark and Ben are all, they were all qualified for the super sprint. So they're all doing that. And Because I'd seen it, I was like, guys, you should just enter. Because it's amazing as juniors to be able to compete against pro pro triathletes. And then I just looked at it and thought, well, why, would, why, why wouldn't I try? It is, it's like a bit of a bookend to and celebrate that they've, they've trained for that moment where they actually get to put on a GB shirt for the first time and I get to be there with them for it. For me, triathlon is about community. I think it makes someone extraordinary because it gives you uh, goals, it gives you meaning and, and, and purpose, like working towards something. You've got to believe it's possible, otherwise, what, what are you doing? <laughs>